Jackson said yesterday that BJ actually plays John Starks pretty well. I don't believe that. I think he doesn't want Jordan coming off all those screens. Well, Jordan came off a pick. Pippen at the start. Rivers for Ewing. Yes. Jordan coming off screens and getting open looks at the basket. That's one thing that Pat Riley and his defense preach in their practice sessions. The next six. The ball's three. Oakley gets inside, and he is called for the foul. Before the ball finally got to him, he knows it's close to a three-second violation. Grant can do nothing but hold his position, but the feel is that the left arm of Oakley is... First look at the Chicago trap, and a turnover is the end result. Jordan on the pull-up. Yes. Let's go back to Christmas Eve possessions for New York. Four turnovers produced. Another steal, this time Grant putting the move on Oakley. A gorgeous ball fake by Horace Grant, who has come up hobbling. Jordan gets inside. Ewing took the rebound. Pippen knocked it away. Another Nick turnover. Jordan for Pippen. And he's fouled by Ewing. They want to give them different looks to keep them guessing. And Ewing fouled. A hard foul given by Bill Cartwright for a four-point Chicago lead. You don't want to let him continue with that shot. So after Cartwright feels the body contact, it's one of the few times thus far that the Bulls have gotten into their half-court offense, and then they come right back with the steal. Pippen leading the way to BJ for the jumper. Look out, Jordan with another steal. And here's Jordan, yes! Michael Jordan whipping by Patrick Ewing. Love to hang around the backcourt and pick off the outlet passes. It's something you must emphasize to your team. Timeout taken, 2.57 remaining in this first quarter. Michael Jordan off the steal, and Jordan has seven points. Nice fake by Jordan. Yes. John Starks did well. And John packs it. Michael Jordan in the backcourt. Starks on Jordan. Yes. Michael Line driving at home. He's playing against New York's half-court set defense. Starks. Well, there's no question that Michael Jordan. Anthony for Blackman. For three. the steal. And here's Pippen. Yes. And Scotty Pippen's by in this second quarter. Scotty Pippen is now running the offense. And does it again. Scotty Pippen in during the regular season. Pippen anticipates the pass coming baseline side. He leaves his man takes off in the transition game and then coming hard at Mason doesn't give him a chance to get his hands on elevates hits the jump shot then coming right back again the next time feeling that he's got that stroke gets himself going into the game at the offensive end by doing it through transition Jordan dumps it off good luck Scotty came up smiling. Michael took a little slap in the left side of the face. He then cocks it up, knocks down a three-pointer, just makes sure that his face is okay. Pippen going up for the layup. Blackman making sure he doesn't get a good shot attempt. The field. They double up on Starks, who pops it. Three-pointer for John Starks. Players great and teams great. The ability to get off the shot and make it when you need it. Oh, Pippen was hit hard. It wasn't that Pippen got thrown to the ground. He's losing his footing right there. As Oakley tries to prevent the shot from going up, it's just, of course, natural that he's going to go down. It made him look, to some extent, that he threw him to the ground. I don't think Oakley intended it. Has been, understandably, very critical about the Knicks' style. For the most part, a style that took place starts on Pippen. So the question is how he would react. And one. Oh, it counts on the foul. Blackman has called for the foul and has, has been very aggressive. Chicago, when it gets itself out in the running game, the transition is strong in the backcourt. Grant Cartwright and Pippen up front. Here is Jordan. Tough angle jump shot by Michael Jordan. Starks. Yes. Shot in a row. 
No team has won three consecutive titles over the last 26 years. Scotty Pippen has 14. Harris Grant is back on the floor up from the good part right. And Scotty Pippen. Pippen to the fadeaway. Scotty Pippen. That Scotty Pippen made last trip down the floor. That's fading away over the top of a player that's about three, three and a half in low against this Chicago Bulls defense. It's going to be a big concern throughout the series. Dump Rivers. The steal by Rivers. Oh, look out. Pippen with a hard foul. Let's see how Jimbo Dollar handles it. Of course, Dalton at times has won Academy Award honors, and he's all right. Oh, and apparently there were words. Smith and Pippen had words, and Pippen came chasing after Smith to run him down. It's Pippen that throws the pass off the dribble. Rivers looks like he's got clear sailing, but Pippen from way behind catches him, and then it's the momentum which sends Rivers to the ground. He immediately grabs his head as if it hit down on the floor. From behind, Pippen goes for the block. There's no intent there to throw Rivers' body into the ground. It's just two great athletes and the speed and acceleration that causes this. Looks to be a little act on the part of a Doc to draw a flagrant. And then Pippen came racing in the direction of both Smith and Rivers. It looked like the target was Smith. And the officials are talking it over. Let's see how they handled it. Apparently no flagrant being called. And Pippen has to be restrained. We'll be back on Tuesday, and then the scene shifts to Chicago. Pippen hits the three-pointer. Scott job fronting Ewing. Rivers, the tip missed by Oakley. Oakley again. That was this. Charles Smith put a little funk at Scotty Pippen, and uh, Pippen did not appreciate it. They have words, and then Pippen when tearing after Smith, the conversation continued. Trap handles the ball exceptionally well. Rivers beating his man. Oh, Rivers used the pick to beat Paxson. A little remedial work by Bizarre. Starts for three. 18 points in the second half. Here's Jordan. Yes. Nice move. The fake to the right. Played by Paxson. Starts guarded by Pippen. It's another three for John Starks. Paxson guarding Starks. Starks for three again. That's his fourth. It was against Chicago last March here at the guard. Jordan came up short. Quick release. You, you may not think he's going to let it go, but it's up and out of his hand, and at times it even looks like it's going to be short. Here's Jordan. <laughs> Paxson, an excellent passer into the post-up area. If your big men aren't working well down low, well, then this guy's not a bad choice to go to, Michael Jordan. New York lead. Pippen. Yes. Beautiful move. Ewing setting the pick. Cartwright jumps out. Starts for three. Right there, challenging this shot when he goes up with it. But again, it's the quick release. It's out of his hands before Jordan can get there. And he threw the foul. It counts! The basket counts and the foul! You commit a foul, make sure he doesn't get the shot off because of the continuation call in the NBA. The strength of Anthony Mason to draw the contact and then still get the shot up. He makes it, goes to the foul line. We had said earlier that Phil Jackson... Ball possession. Jordan with the steal, the save. It's taken by Grant. What a play! And it's tipped home. Tipped home by Scott Williams. You think Michael Jordan has no idea where the ball is being passed, but he manages not only to get a piece of it and keep it in bounds, then saves it before it goes back out of bounds to his teammates to just to give him an opportunity. Reminds me of the Larry Bird play against Detroit a few years back in the playoffs would produce the winning basket.